Happy Front Row Friday, everybody. It's Marilyn Sherman coming to you from Las Vegas, Nevada. How are you? Last week, I talked about setting boundaries and learning how to say no. So I thought this week I'd switch things up a little bit and ask you, what are you saying yes to? Because sometimes, especially this time of year, we're pulled in so many different directions and we're constantly saying no to those things that are causing stress and anxiety in our life. So now let's focus on what are you going to say yes to? And I got inspired by uh, one of my past speaker coaches, Jane Atkinson, who asked me the question, what's my word of the year for 2023? And I hadn't even thought about it. And after a moment of reflection, I thought, you know what? I got it. My word of the year is live, as in live large, live for the moment, live to support and give to other people, live to be present, live to connect. Um, did I say live large? <laughs> so, um, and I got inspired by that word because as you know, my friend, she is going through some radiation and chemotherapy treatment. And lately he's been so grateful. He just sits back and says, I'm so grateful. We've had such a good life. And, and I don't know, maybe it's the French translation, but I say it's not over. We have a lot of life to live. So then I started to think about, well, what does that look like? So I want to say yes to doing those things that scare me. Say yes to taking better care of myself so I can be there for other people. Say yes to joy. Say yes to hope. Say yes to optimism. Say yes to um, doing those courageous things that are hard to do, but once you've done them, you feel so much better on the other side. So on this Front Row Friday... If you are celebrating Christmas this weekend, Merry Merry Christmas. If you're not selling or if you're not celebrating Christmas, then Happy Hanukkah or Happy Kwanzaa or Happy Sunday, whatever it is for you. I just pray that you have hope and joy and that you live your life by learning how to say yes to those things that bring you joy. So I'd love to hear from you. What do you think your word of the year is going to be? And also, you don't have to wait for the new year to start living your focus. What is the one thing you want to focus on for the year? You don't have to wait till January 1st. Why not start saying yes now to those things that mean the most to you? Make the best of it because you never know when it will be your last December 25th, you never know. So I'd say live in the moment, live large, live with love and um, say yes to hope and inspiration. Have an amazing Front Row Friday, everybody. Thanks for listening and I will see you next week.